say. Oh, common sense sister is joining me now. Let me bring her in. Hello. Hello. How are you? Yeah, we're fine. How are you girls? We're doing good. We're doing good. We are doing good. You said you were. You said yesterday you were, you uh you went to see him. Was that was that Toronto? Two days yeah, ago, yeah, on Sunday. Ago. On Sunday. Two days oh, ago on Sunday. Yes. So can you yeah. tell us how was it? Oh, experiencing Peter B, you know, it's like, uh, you want to introduce yourself, you yeah. Anyways, we are just for people who do not know us, we are the Common Sense Sisters. Mm -hmm. uh, my name is Yoyo. My name is Ella. And um, we are heavily obedient before the obedience movement mm -hmm. even took place. Mm. And experiencing Mr. Peter B, it's like just knowing who he is, having done intensive research, research in-depth research. People who know us know that we're ladies of research mm -hmm. a lot and came up with so many things and like this one, we have to speak up. We cannot let this good man go at all. So realizing that after the NBA conference and we saw Houston on the list, and he's the one. He's going to come to Toronto, and like uh, immediately got our ticket. Started sharing words, you know, spread the information on social media, yeah. on our YouTube channel, everything, telling everybody that I'll be coming to know. Toronto, you know. And then we got there. He's somebody that, um, like we say, he's a spirit. Mm -hmm. Has to be. The energy he exudes, his tenacity, his strength, mm -hmm. and his relentless. Um, ability ethic. and work ethic mm -hmm. to want to answer questions. Mm -hmm. Mr. Peter B is ready for the job. He's hungry for the job. He's overqualified. He's overqualified. He understands the, the assignment. Mm -hmm. He's a proactive problem solver. Oh my God. Mr. Peter B is focused, is solution focused. Mm -hmm. And a proactive problem solver is not scared of any question at all. He welcomes them. Even when we in Toronto were saying, Mr. Peter B, at least take break. rest. You've answered 10 questions. Take break. It's been two hours. This man said, keep it coming. Keep it coming. He did not take a bathroom break. Mm -hmm. He did not stop to drink water. Mm -hmm. He answered every single question in detail. And one of the questions that we had that was able to get to the stage that we asked was um, based on gender inequality and what his government will do with regards to that when he comes into power. Because we believe, say now only Mr. Peter will be go day as soon as 2023. And there's a reason why we asked that question. Mm -hmm. Prior to that, we had done a lot of research and we came across an uh, IMF article where a lady did the research on gender equality in Nigeria mm -hmm. and the positive impact it will have on our GDP and the economy at large. Mm -hmm. So like an increase in 1.25%. Percent. If we, if Nigeria harnesses the, the power of, of, the of the woman, of the girl child, of the girl child, access to credit, access to land, mm -hmm. if they want to go into farming, access to education and vocational skills, and how they will contribute not only to the economy, mm -hmm. but to their family, but to the growth and to the growth of, of the and development of the country. And Just harnessing that power. That question perfectly gave references to how he's worked with women during his time as Anambra State Governor. Mm -hmm. like, this man's motto is go and verify. And being ladies of research, that is like the key word. Because if somebody has everything to back up for every question that you ask him, it's not a thing of looking to faith or anything. No. There is evidence that this man has done the job before. Mm -hmm. So I don't understand why anybody in their right senses would see Mr. Peter Obi as is. As he is on screen, that is how he is in real life. Yeah, it was even my birthday on Sunday. We told him it was my when we queued up birthday. when we queued up to take um, pictures with him, and he wished me a happy birthday. It was like he took our time. You, he, he oozes this elegance and this strength of hope. It's like I'm seeing like my future in this man. Yes, this is who I want to be my leader. As as Nigerians, like we're already proud to be Nigerians. Mm -hmm. We know there are hiccups in the country, but there is this one person. This one person that, that we need there, that we need, we are desperately in need of a surgeon and the only doctor that can heal and meet the bleeding of Nigeria is Peter Obi. So anybody, when you know they carry this movement for their head, you get plenty problem. Because I don't understand how this kind of man, this kind of being, that there is no comma. There is nothing bad you can say about him. There is the only, we're looking at the research. Like, 
if you if people he's the only leader that we know now on earth, on earth. that has no, no stain. stain no stain yes mr peter B will come out and say i'm not a saint oh but sir ah he even has, says say not the religious one mr peter B has no stain nothing i'm not talking of if someone will come and say, I say it's a perfect human being, I need that person to use their common sense and intellectual based on human standards. I dare to say, yeah, you know, sense. you know, there is one thing people don't know about him. I think I had in, my, in an interview with Rudolf Okonko once, mm -hmm. yeah, something, and uh, maybe I say it here. People don't know sometimes many of us who have come close to him are still intrigued, personally, I am. Mm -hmm. because what he tells you in private is what it is in the public mm -hmm. you know there are things you might you know in, in private you say oh, God, ah, why is this thing like this let's do this. oh no 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 leave it mm -hmm. that's you only you and him or mm -hmm. you say that don't do it and that's something he would say in the public mm -hmm. and sometimes you're like no it's i mean i think that's real integrity <laughs> and mr and mr peter b doesn't doesn't apply for a job that he's not prepared for yes he understands his assignment mm -hmm. we have been saying to now youth challenges when we talk to diaspora remember the, the first live video that we had about it i think we came across that's the first video we worked on about Mjinji, when you interviewed him in a his day house. in the life we call it a day in the life of peter b when you went to his house and interviewed him and he made you a cup of coffee and i'm like and you so could this talk kind of about, man exists. You can talk about the conjo and well as the book and everything. And he told and he told me me that I read the book. I've I've even forgotten the page. You forgot the page. Page sixty one. He told me sixty. I think sixty seven or eighty. Page sixty one. Page sixty one. Page sixty one. You know, and so he, and he never forgets. He mm -hmm. has a magnetic brain. Yes, he does. And he's very charismatic. And you know what I like? You know one thing I admire about Mr. Peter B. He's able to break. His answers down, down to the lowest that level. a baby can understand. Well, no. and, connect. Mm -hmm. and in, you know, when you talk about his magnetic nature, there is something that happened in Rome in the Vatican City on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Was it? Was it Sunday? No, on, yeah, no, Rome was Saturday. On Saturday. On Saturday. Yeah. So we got to a restaurant to eat. We eaten. Mm -hmm. You know, because I didn't capture it in video, but I captured the the picture. Let me actually. I don't know this. You know, I will, I will share that. With her. Now, we were eating in this restaurant. He went to the restroom. So I basically sat down, about three of us. The seat was for three of three people sat down, and his own empty seat was there. Mm -hmm. As he was walking out of the um, the hotel, sorry, the the, the you know, the, the restroom, there were these ladies, Nigerian ladies. You know, trying to pick food. You know, there's an African restaurant trying to pick food and go away. And when the moment they saw him, they nearly like so everybody thought, you know, you would you would think maybe someone might have been shot or you know, they kind of screamed, they screamed them like everybody in that restaurant turned. Right. And they were just like, you know, they couldn't believe it. That so, of yeah. nowhere, just they just saw so the man and Everybody started taking pictures. I'm like, okay, your food go cold. And I sit down and eat. And he's, he stood there taking pictures. Unbelievable. I yes, imagine. if it were other, <coughs> everybody will be guiding them. I, 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 imagine, I imagine you would have probably said, I don't know what he said. I'm here for them. Mm -hmm. I'm here for the people. Mm -hmm. I stood for three yes. hours in Germany. I will stand and take the pictures. Mm -hmm. I'm here for you. Oh I'm God. here for the people. It's very simple. It's very I simple. I'm here this. for the people. I can't even believe it. And, 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 and I, I don't know why, even in that, even in that experience in Toronto, where he was answering, he, he, I think he likes to answer questions in mm -hmm. five. Mm -hmm. So the yes. people who were around. Five, yeah. Yes, in committee, he went around and we he gave out papers, slips of papers for people to write their questions on there. And they will ask people will ask questions. There's something I want to give um, unsolicited advice to people. When you want to ask questions, because I believe the man has a bundle of answers, has, he, 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 he has answers and has information. Mm -hmm. As an individual, I suggest that anyone that wants to ask questions, don't ask questions because it's the popular thing everybody's asking. Think of issue-based questions that, Question. goes exactly. that goes beyond the yeah. surface. Because it allows Peter B to reach back 
to everything. To his experiences. It's like when you go for a job interview mm -hmm. and then you are in a panel. Mm -hmm. We are the panel. Nigerians are the panel. Mm -hmm. Peter, Peter is on the hot seat. Mm -hmm. So when you ask questions, you have to ask issue-based questions because you know that Mr. Peter B will not disappoint mm -hmm. with answer. Mm -hmm. So there's a reason why we ask that question on gender equality because I've researched and I know that he's worked with women. But I know mm -hmm. his campaign that people have never asked that question. Mm -hmm. So I wanted him to speak to it. And the only way we could get him to speak to it is to ask the question. Mm -hmm. Everything mm -hmm. was like but, a different experience. But even at that, you know that um, I know during his time, um, he had his commissioner for information, eventually became the lead for the MDG, I think uh, Professor Okuna. Mm -hmm. And we had uh, Ne Onyeji. We had, I mean, there are a couple of women that really, you know, became the pillar of, of his government. Mm -hmm. And I agree that, uh, you know, I mean, I'm a man, but I agree that yielding and ceding some of these uh, responsibilities to women, because, I mean, you know, um, women do, the temperaments are different. You, it's, it's no against me. We saw how in the midst of world crisis, how Angela Merkel, the former chancellor of Germany, was able to steer mm -hmm. the country, even in the in the in the peak of the um, um, refugee crisis, mm -hmm. how she was able to take one million, one for Christ's sake, just wait a minute. Some countries are not up to one million. And this woman took one million refugees in, and she was able to get them to um, settle in Germany, and that is something to emulate. So when you when you people talk about you know researching and 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 you know and it, uh, you know as regards to women and the answer that she, you know he gave, it's inherent. It's not like oh I will. You understand? It's not like something that someone is telling you is going to do in the future. It's mm -hmm. something. And when like many people complain, why every time he has to go back to an umbrella and tell I have done this, I have done that. I say, well, why wouldn't he do that? Mm -hmm. Because That's personal experiences. You have to when you them. when you apply for a job, they say. Uh, if we you give you this role, yeah. what how are you going to do? You see, of course, you pick Tell me about the time role. where you stop this problem. Yeah, exactly. Using the star model, giving the opportunity, how you're going to do it, isn't mm -hmm. it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Martin, you are even reaching too far. You are reaching, you are reaching far to Germany. Let's come home. Okay. <laughs> so Rwanda. Going, the one woman, the woman that is the reason why there was. Huge decline in fake drug use. Fake drug use. Yeah. Yes. Today, so today, today, we, today, when we go to the African store, we cannot buy a product that does not have Nadak. Nadak no. Heck, it will not even reach Canada now. No how. That's a woman that stood in the midst of everything mm -hmm. against her odds. Her life, her family's life threatened. Different Nadak offices that were being burnt. She was relentless. Mm -hmm. And still, even after she has gone, was we are still benefiting benefits. from it today. That's one. That's one woman amongst many. I mean, are we going to talk of Okonjo and Wella? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so many other ones that we don't see them in Dr. public Stella, space. The one in time of um the uh, Ebola, Ebola crisis. crisis. Everything you know, like it's different. We, but, even in our Nollywood today, and what women have done with the industry because we are Nollywood junkies. You know, so it's just mm -hmm. yes. so Nigeria just has to. But, there's something but, that misses. But, but ladies, don't make it look like as if we uh, we. We know reach anything again. Don't make us feel guilty now, have a... Well, you know, see, I, there's something that I, okay, I like how you said mm. that. There's something Mr. Peter B told the men. Yeah, I remember. He said the women care. The women they mm -hmm. care when you when 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 they when they're in charge of anything, they, they care. So it's not like I'm looking at something like box to box, mm -hmm, box to mm -hmm. box. Mm -hmm. And if you harness the power of what you have, of what strengths. you have, the strengths. Of the woman, you know, in addition to everything that is going mm -hmm, on, mm -hmm. they are going to benefit from it. Mm -hmm. Does not mean that there are no mm -hmm. good men out there. Obviously, there are good men out there. It's like you have, you, it's I, like you have good thing, mm -hmm. and then because of certain reasons or because you've never harnessed the power of it, you just feel like you place yourself on limitations. Yes. And there are good men out there. Look at the work that you are doing here on YouTube. Oh, exactly. Look at the work that you are doing here on YouTube. You are one example of many that we may know or we may not know. Mm -hmm. Look at all the men, young men in Nigeria. That are going for those obedient rallies. 
in addition to young girls, young ladies, young, old, father, mother, grandmother, whatever, whether they are um, abled or disabled, everybody coming together for their own good. Okay. This is the man that is fighting people beyond what you are as a person, whether you're a man, whether you're a woman, whether you're abled or we are differently abled, regardless of where you are you, from, knowing that you have you strength. Saw, you saw what happened, you know, when you talk about this. I think one thing is that compare him to the current leaders we have, his, his emotional intelligence is top notch. There is no comparison. His EQ is on another level. There is no comparison. I mean, he's a balance. His emotional balance. intelligence. The only person that can, I mean, in fairness, because I'm always liking to be fair, the only person that I think that has similar emotional intelligence is the current vice president. Hmm. You understand? Well, you are entitled. I, I mean, to sorry. I say you are entitled to your opinion. <laughs> well, I mean, exactly. I, you know, you know, when it, when listen, when I talk about emotional intelligence here, but when it comes to those starting from the, you know, um, the. Jagger bandits, as um, um, Mayegun would always want to refer them to, or the um, the other ones, and even the current president, referring to you know when 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 you understand that you know that uh, it is unbelievable mm -hmm. that uh, the emotional intelligence you saw what happened with Adiola this mo uh, in the earlier hours of uh, this yeah. morning when she was about interviewing her and the daughter because she was carrying that little girl before and when that girl was taking off him even adela was saying oh something is wrong here my daughter is even refusing to yeah if you if you if you go back even in adela's you will catch the part that adela made that statement that even my daughter is now refusing when the daughter cried. Mm. Isn't that telling us something? It and is. that I mean, Nigerians are like he always said, Nigerians are actually not asking for too much. Mm -hmm. Just basic, the basic things. Basic things. Basic things. Mm -hmm. basic, basic, basic things that Nigerians are asking for. Now, I think the, this is the video I, I talked Maybe about. Those again, again. Oh, sorry, not this one. Um, there is a video that I talked about the, you know, the ladies that uh, when they saw him, they could not believe that. Came. And I didn't catch it because it wasn't expected. I didn't catch it. Anyway, I think at this point I'm beginning to record like uh <laughs> hey, you two were you were talks. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I think I took I took their camera and uh, I held my own camera so I didn't know where the camera was. It's not, it's not but, easy to do all those things. You know, it's 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 you know, like I said, it is indeed indeed amazing to see um the energy. So are you guys, you know, what's what's your general impression before I let you guys go? What's your general impression um of the whole uh, Canada visit? Hmm. So when did we arrive? First of all, let me let me give you the brain picture about everything. So we arrived there, drove to the hotel, and um there was parking available for us, right? The parking cost $25 for average people, but because we were coming for the obedience movement, it cost us $15. So All Peter, obedience. So Peter Obi has not even become president, but we're already reaping the benefits. When we say we, we mean everybody that has been Koreans. You know, say, no, because if pass. you pay for parking in Toronto, you you understand how expensive it can be. Mm -hmm. Every person that attended paid $15. Paid $15. And so we went, we went to the queue, went in line, took pictures, got our wristbands and everything for the tickets. 
uh, um, got our obedience shirts. I was yeah, going some people to... were selling merchandise, which was good. Mm -hmm. We went into the hall. We had our seats and everything. There was announcements and everybody, you know, calmed down. It was a sold and there was, there was cold water. There was cold water available for everybody for free. You know, that was very kudos to the organizers for that. Mm -hmm. You know, we were ushered in. We sat down on our, on our, at our seats. And people who didn't have seats, obviously, because it was sold out, they were obediently standing at the back. Mm -hmm. You know, they made all the announcements, thanked everybody for coming, coming in. And I think 30 minutes in, about, about at about 7.30, Came in like a, like a breeze. Breeze. Like he just walked in. Like we were just hearing OB, OB, OB. And I'm like, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Oh my God. And I was in the announcer made, you know, uh, and, and Mr. Peter OB is here. And everybody was like, OB, 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 OB. And he came. And you know, they made announcements of, you know, I, I think the oldest Canadian man, 102 years old. The oldest Nigerian, old, Nigerian Canadian, Canadian was man was 102 years old. Was, in was, was there present in attendance and everybody, and you know. The event started and you know he said it. he he spoke extensively to like it was as if it was speaking to my soul yeah that experience yeah. and we've consumed a whole lot of interviews about him but to physically experience him and hear, and hear him his voice. speak and hear that voice of hope it was beyond amazing and also the power that it's like he empowered us he energized us. the crowd it's mm -hmm. something that we always advocate on our live channel mm -hmm. about Diasporans, you, you don't you have yes. to come in where you there. Come on, says that scared us up today. Yeah, yeah. We, were, we were streaming it live on our on our YouTube channel. As we yeah. were there, we're streaming, we're streaming that because that's our responsibility to the common sense squad. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. thank you for Kenneth for you know yes. that. Mm -hmm. And like, and even when he was talking, mm -hmm. there was a baby crying. Yes, at our back, crying like baby was crying, especially when he was started talking about the difficulties and all those things. Yeah, of Nigeria like, of Nigerians in Nigeria, parents who have sent their children abroad and you know their houses are quiet now because all their children are displaced in the diaspora and that baby was crying, crying. at that time and even when people were like oh this one should take this baby out and he said even the baby's crying, crying. is a confirmation that of, they understand understand you know you know he harnessed every single thing in that environment answered every answered question every Every single question. The mayor of Brampton was also present at the event where he yeah. spoke and kind of endorsed the candidacy of Mr. Peter Obi because he knows the benefits of Nigeria, Nigerians in the greater Toronto area. And Peter Obi stood there for about two, two and a half hours plus, answering a total of 15 questions plus one, which was the man that Njinje played um, his video about the technologies that he has to share his ideas with um, Peter Obi. And afterwards, when the event came, to a close, um, people were already rushing to take pictures. For 45 plus minutes, was there chaos. was chaos. Like people wanted to take so pictures. Make a change, Nana. So Nigeria! Nigeria. Oh. Oh. So Nigeria! You man. people are taking pictures, you will not shift like others take pictures. You will not listen you to the MC. You will not listen. The MC will say protocol, protocol. He says, let me tell you, took the microphone and said, I am here for all of you. I am not leaving Toronto. I took over a thousand pictures. Took for over two hours in Germany, I will take pictures. Still, some obedience not bring here what they want to take pictures, they want to take pictures. Anyways, 45 minutes later, a powerful woman came and took the microphone. And she announced in a shouting voice, everybody behave yourself. So Peter Obi is here. Oh, she had to reawaken the consciousness These of are the people that were overly excited. And before we knew it, everybody went in line and filed in line. To so, so for a moment, the obedience became disobedient. Oh, it was wild. It was wild. Like we had even some people had to stop filming. It was that crazy. Toronto was mad. Toronto was, and only Mr. Peter we can probably do this. Yeah. It was great. I'm telling you what so, is Now, now let, let me ask you this question. When, Ooh. you know, maybe sometime October, November, December, Atiku may visit, would you be going? Who is that? Who is that? Atiku. I don't know who that is. The only name I know is Peter Obiru. I can't, I don't know who that is. I can't recollect. I mean, I practice obicracy. Yeah. I mean, obicentric. So anything when not they or be in the area. I don't know what that means. My spirit can't even sense it. I so I don't know. I, I don't understand. Unfortunately, with all due respect, I don't know who that is. I can't relate. Now, it's only Peter B. I see. I can't I don't relate. Know. I mean, that I just, that just, was, that just common sense. sense. Yeah, I don't, I don't <laughs> know. That's just common sense. So no one, no one else can actually bring you guys out if, if they say the person is coming, you know, 
you 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 that you can actually say, okay, guys, I'm not coming into the office today. I'm going to take one day off. I need to go and listen. No other person can make you do that. Of course not. There's no other human being mm -hmm. that be. I mean, when we were even going for the event, we told our office um colleagues that we're going to see our president. Let me let me shock you. Workplace where I work. What are you doing for the weekend? He's on the agenda. Mm -hmm. He was open, 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 the event was mm -hmm. our dessert yes, because it was your birthday. Was on, yeah. And they looked forward to hearing from me How on that Monday. Went. And we gave them the GCS at meeting <laughs> on Monday at four <laughs> like, in Canada here. The pictures are there. I carry Nigeria for my score. In twine the challenges for my braids. Mm -hmm. Obigrace is what I practice. Mm -hmm. I'm obedient. Mm -hmm. It's just common sense. I'm an obedient. I know they like hear any other thing. So, I know they see any other thing. He can come before me, but I do not see. The it. monkey emoji says it. See no evil, hear yeah, no, no evil, evil, speak no evil. So, and why? Focus. When, I, the, I, when I, there is so, light, why would I be saying I want to untouch light? When somebody wants to give Nigeria light, why would I be saying I want to use candle? I mean, I want to use touch light. I don't. I don't understand, dude. No. Don't, and that's just common sense. And what we have said to you virtually, in person, not the same thing. I focus on my focus. Mm -hmm. Even when people they argue about all those other things. There's, there's no name that will come out of this my mouth. That's mm -hmm. the presidential candidate that will not be open. Any other person. I don't, I don't know, know you. Who you are. I don't know you. Well, if it was well, some people are emi, emi localized now. Is there, is there see, DJ, when uh, AY, the comedian, was in Toronto in July, and he went on to ask his famous questions, which he was asking all over the city where he was doing his And we talk. documented that. And we documented everything. He asked, say, for the, uh, he called the other people mm. that they said they are also candidates. The brooms and the umbrella. The brooms and the umbrella. The tools. He called those ones. Mm. Some of their those tools, tools, some of their those tools that have structures of destruction. The, 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 the broom when office sweep. Mm. I mean, the broom that has swept some destiny. The, the that, umbrella that cannot prevent the the anything. That broom for the, during the Evo State rally. When that broom where they're born. born. Now the broom where they're born. Mm. And maybe now the, now the umbrella mm. where also fly. When tornado come. He called those ones. They are descendants. They they they. They they they. Faintly in the economy side. But they they economy now. You know they OB people. Now we they buy the VIP ticket. Now we they buy, now we they press. At the at the smell. At the, the, the aroma. At the ooze of the obedient name. The whole, the whole was on a standstill. We know that. Go and verify. This video is on YouTube. It's on my YouTube channel. Mommy, so how I go say I don't see constant electricity in the presence of Peter Obi, in the sense. presence of a senator Yusuf Dati Baba Ahmed, then I go to say I go to get memory how for wickedness of my mind. Let me go put it to you. How can, see, how can I see competence? How can I see character? Compassion! How can I see compassion? How can I see empathy? How can I see commitment to leadership <laughs> that is verifiable, tangible? I can <laughs> feel it. I can defend it. I can <laughs> identify it. I, I can sleep. I say, we know this. We don't sleep. This is my motto in this house. My president is working. Why yeah. will I be sleeping? Nine. If it will be there 61 years old, mm -hmm. I'll be nine and I told you ladies, I'll be nine, do you have PVC? PVC? Do you have PVC? How many people have you told about having PVC? And did you, did you, did you, if you watch our YouTube, like you'd have heard of be saying that. By 2027, Nigerians in diaspora will be able to be able to vote. Because if Kenya, they do them, why can't yes. we? The so-called giant of Africa. Yeah. So I'm obesecentric, mm -hmm. and it's just common sense that I have to consume myself with anything that aligns. You wake up in the morning, you eat obi for breakfast. Mm -hmm. In the afternoon, you eat obedient yes. breakfast. Mm -hmm. Obedient, balanced diet. Anybody where you know they follow obi, mm -hmm. now who are you they look for? Me. Hey, I, I, cannot, I cannot see living things uh, and go for non-living things. I don't understand. Living things includes father, mother, and child. And that mm -hmm. is what is inside the Labour Party logo. How can I be going for non-living things that uh -huh. doesn't have, that doesn't have life? Bro, how can I go for bro, bro, the shop? How can I go for umbrella? Umbrella away if you break. How can the, I do that? the strongest unit in the world is the family. Mm. How can I do that? I mean, uh, it's not common sense. In the national team, I think they say, the labor of our heroes man, shall never be in vain. So why will I not honor my national team? Did they say, go for did that? They say the labor of those who are sweeping? Or the labor, labor of those that, that carry umbrella to will not be in vain. Umbrella to hide structural umbrella we, assets. Umbrella where hurricane feet. TV destroy. Bro, when are they sweep? Bro, when are they sweep? And they, they, they gather dust, dust of deficits no, no, and no. corruption no. and sickness and looting. And looting. And Common looting. sense. Ah. Common they, sense, they, sisters. They don't be, um, they don't be testing they us. They don't be like us. Like Those who know so us know that. Make we come. We are setting things. We are Canadian babes. Make we come.
come back to where our now let's are. let's <laughs> your colleagues in the office might be watching you think ah they're no longer speaking like one of us <laughs> now which state are you girls from uh, you should like guess. guess so you have to guess by now you suppose don't mm. guess guess mm. guess guess no i don't i don't i mean Take no idea. Two, from this two, experience now, two, guess, you there, there's only guesses. one state in Nigeria that has this, like... Uh -uh. Take, take two guesses. Mm. I take two guesses. Mm. I take guess one, Edo. And guess, guess two. Now, mm. oh, wow. Mm. If I move to Zamfara, you go first. <laughs> No, everywhere, everywhere. Ask yourself, yourself whether, whether, whether that, that six states. Whether that man waiting your instincts tell you. Yeah, yeah, whatever comes to your heart. Mm. We have 36 states. We no, can... Delta. Yeah. Robo Wado. Hey. That's See, what... I'm... You are there. I'm right. Yeah, you're yes. right. Yes. See, you're, you're intelligent, man. You know. The Robo you know. Yeah. Yeah. We're daughters. Uh, yeah. But it's good. It's good because the um, reason why I asked that question, obviously I know you guys are not from the Southeast mm -hmm. geographically. No, because when people talk about, and there are some mischievous elements, want to say, oh, he's an evil person, he's an evil candidate. I mean, when you hear some, uh, something like that, how do you feel? For me, you be answer. You be answer. I will bring the quote that I, I think to there are two things that made us to become more active on Twitter. And Twitter is where we would mostly see those kinds of questions except you come across somebody in real life what's your so, twitter handle sorry before you continue common senses we we're already following you so i need the common sense sisters we're already following you will find it we follow we, as we follow okay don't worry. let me follow back <laughs> yeah i think we follow you and so too. and so there are two things it was the entire movement and peter will be those are the reasons why we're active on twitter and that's how we come across this this kind of things that to, to smear the campaign and the candidacy of peter will be for those mm. things, we don't answer them because we know that they are distractions and distractors who don't deserve response. And that is that is the lowest anybody can go to say, oh, Peter will be because he's from Igbo, he's an Igbo candidate, or they want to link him to something or all of that. They are factless. There's no facts. There's nothing to verify. It's just air and propaganda. You have nothing to offer. They have absolutely nothing. And Peter Obi himself has said this thing. Don't vote for me because I'm from a section of the country. Mm -hmm. Vote for me because I am competent. And if you point all the arrows to Peter Obi, including if you are using this same because it's Igbo, mm -hmm. he should also be president. <clears throat> he is competent. Mm -hmm. The Igbo people have been disenfranchised in Nigeria based on the history that we know of. Somebody from the Southeast has not ruled and everybody from other parts of the country has also had the opportunity at leadership. So why not? If you point all the arrows as of today, August 30th, 2022, it goes back to Peter Obi. So if you carry your head and say, oh, you are supporting him because he's Igbo, you are supporting him, or you are coming to attack me to say, oh, because it, 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 it holds no water in my dictionary and it does not warrant any response. response. Yeah. Well, my opinion mm. that would be, since you elaborated on it, I will reach out to ancestors when you get common sense, and I go put because mm -hmm. I, I was reaching out to our community to yeah, because we so process of yeah. words of wisdom. These words of wisdom from Doctor Chuba Okadigo, the late Doctor Chuba Okadigo, he said, "If you are emotionally attached to your tribe, your religion, or political leaning to the point that the truth and justice." became secondary consideration, your education is useless. Your exposure is useless. If you cannot reason beyond petty sentiments, sentiments, you are a liability to mankind. If you not get common sense to not say this so far, we get up for Nigeria, you know, not try. It reach you according to your point of Destination, whether you are evil, Yoruba, Hausa, Efik, or anything at this point, the in cup time, of suffering overflowed in Nigeria, regardless of tribe, religion, wherever you are from, gender, it is there. 
you are not worthy of my response. Mm -hmm. And people will know common sense is like they respond to foolishness. We know they respond to nonsense. I mean, if you are daft, why should I be engaging with you? That's and it. if they say they want to engage for that, we tell them say go and listen to our video on mm -hmm. research mm -hmm. on, on tribalism. We did that extensive. We did that, did. and there was even a real life story mm -hmm. where some northerners came and gave testimony, mm -hmm. testify years ago, to, years ago, to the greatness of one sect in Oman. Even after the woman died, the died. Children they were still benefiting. They were, well, they were once um, a manjeri boys, and they mm -hmm. were helped by an evil man through this same, um, what they call, is it trading business, I think, where you bring your brother and he helps you. And they benefited from that system, and they know about school. their experiences. So if you are looking at somebody at this stage of life, mm -hmm. where we are at today, mm -hmm. based on tribe, you are not worthy. Then he means say it never, it never sting you. You are a liability, and I quote, you are a liability to mankind. Ancestors. Because now ancestors when it gets sense, now with the honor, mm -hmm. uh, not be all ancestors. Because not be all ancestors. Some ancestors were very foolish. So when they say your ancestors, some of your ancestors, some people now that are exhibiting this ancestors say, ancestors if man. you have all those sentiments, mm -hmm. you are a liability to what mankind. mankind. Simple. That is my response to that. Simple. Mm. Mm. That's a very fine place to leave it, girls. Mm -hmm. It's um you know it's it's been an engaging evening. I like that. I hope uh, we will engage more Talk in the more. future. Thank Indeed, you. I uh, I now follow you girls on, uh, and I will encourage everybody here the common sense sis. Please follow them on their on their Twitter page and click like the and you know uh, click and like subscribe to their channel. That's also the common sense, right? We have common sense and we are sisters. Yeah, that's that's very good. Now, um, I think uh, Obina um, Ihe Nacho mm -hmm. also is still saying that many people following Peter does not have the PVC. I want you to respond to that as the last comment. But before you do, I would also want to respond to him first. Now, I'm hoping that many people in the diaspora do not have their PVC, not that they don't want to have their PVC, or not that they wouldn't wish that they had the opportunity to have their PVC. But obviously, you know that the uh, current situation and current um, you know, political landscape does not allow them. However, the diaspora do have a very influential um, you know, link to those that will cast the vote. So if someone is passionate about supporting a candidate, I don't think it's a thing to say, oh, well, you shouldn't be talking because you do not have your PVC. Yes, he does not have PVC, but he has some dollars, pounds, yen, euros that they send home, and those that receive those funds, listen to them. And they have some level of control over them. And if someone tells you, okay, I'm giving you this money, I'm paying your school fees and this and that, the whole country is bad, and this is the reason why this is happening this way. I would want you to really look deep and vote for this person to help turn things around. Wouldn't that individual do that? And I think that is the way I look at those. Yes, in the diaspora, they do not have PVC, but it is also not wise for someone to want, wanting to kind of write them off, to say, oh, you know they don't have a PVC and that's it. I don't. What's your take? Go. First of all, um, you want to go first, or you want me to go? Hmm. Which which time? Do you want hot or spicy? And, and and before you go, um, you know he's, he he keeps writing, but also note that election requires funds. Mm -hmm. You know, and some of these funds may also come from the from those in the diaspora, mm -hmm. because if someone if someone puts down. A thousand dollars, U.S. dollars. I mean, that's you know, a thousand dollars. It's uh, over six hundred thousand. If someone puts down ten thousand dollars, a couple of people put down ten thousand. That's over six point five million. So you obviously know what that can do within the uh, Nigerian uh, contest. So go mm -hmm. ahead. Sorry, I think you go first. All right. First of all, um, never underestimate the power of Nigerians in the diaspora. I think um, that's a very big insult. From a Nigerian, that's if you are, to a fellow, oh, his name was Obina, so he'll be a Nigerian. From a Nigerian to another Nigerian, that's a very big insult. And in case you didn't know, as of um, March of this year, 2022, 
the lawmakers in Nigeria, a bill was brought to their table for them to allow Nigerians in diaspora votes as of March of 2022. And obviously, for reasons known to them and known to the common Nigerian, they rejected that bill. And we covered this on our YouTube channel as well. It was rejected. Disenfranchising millions of Nigerians abroad. For Nigerians in Nigeria, if you follow the movement for the past two months plus, you would also see how difficult it was for people to go and register for their PVC. Now it's in the collection stage. You will see how difficult it was. So for a Nigerian to think that you can poke at another Nigerian by saying, obedience who are following Peter Obi, most of them don't have PVCs, is the lowest or one of the lowest you can go as a person in thinking. In thinking. Now, how many Nigerians in diaspora or in general, have you spoken to where you know or you think that they don't have their PVC? There are some Nigerians in diaspora that we know that, that have, have their PVC and, and they're going, going back to box. Box, Of which is of nobody's concern. Exactly. It's nobody's concern. And people have their personal lives. And like Njinje was saying, there are different reasons as to why people may have or may not have their PVCs. And we're talking about which we're talking about. And Peter Pia has already mentioned that if Nigerians, if, if Kenyans abroad are able to vote in their elections, Nigerians will be able to do that come 2027 when he's in office. Mm -hmm. So that's one part of the piece. And indeed, you also made mention of the power of the forex that Nigerians in diaspora remit every single, I would say, day every to day. the country. Because for every suffering that is going on in Nigeria, I bet you for almost every family, there is somebody abroad. And the abroad can be Ghana. It can be anywhere across the borders of Africa. It can be Cotonou. It can be, be Extending to North America, Europe, and other countries. Mm Heck, -hmm. it could be in Australia. Mm -hmm. There are funds that are serving for every time that there is no light in the Nigerian person's house. If they call their uncle, their auntie, their brother, their sister abroad, they will send funds to them. And we also covered this on our YouTube channel where we created this thing of hashtag no PVC, no remittance. Let me and finish. Expand on one. Should I finish? I can make an expand small. Then you now, later. I know... Um, it's out of respect for mm -hmm. you. We're able to answer this question because normally, normally I know the answer. Now, no, a nonsense question, but it's nice because maybe from here people will be educated mm -hmm. and be encouraged in case they are confronted with questions like this. The time of June, the early phase, mm -hmm. the common sense sisters came up with the ideas to talk to our audience mm -hmm. because they were wondering, like, if their fear, their general fear is that we can't people, vote, we, we cannot vote. Can people, will people, common sense sisters? I like on people, but will people have conscience? Mm -hmm. Or how can we people have how conscience can we to do the right? Yeah. How can we harness our power? And mm -hmm. we said, you send money home, mm -hmm. right? Your forex. Your forex is your power. Yeah. Most people that watch us from UK, Canada, and America. So yeah, the Australia. money, Australia, the money alone. Here is how you use your power wow. in intelligently mm -hmm. and committedly. Let your people at home know, family and friends, that. We all want Nigeria to be a better place. And they have a responsibility and a role to play in it. So, those of them that have not registered for their PBC, they should go and register. Mm -hmm. Those who have registered and they're able to collect it, they should go and collect it. Mm -hmm. And show you proof. And call you on video call and show you proof. It's going to be a tough decision. Mm -hmm. Some of you know go you face your papa, face mm -hmm. your mama, and all those mm -hmm. things to talk to them. Look them in the eye. Mm -hmm. No PVC, no, no remittance. remittance. Simple. Then they followed up with another question during our live show. They said, but common sense that some of them go, they give you, give you a they, that they, they don't have transport. Money. They act, they don't mm -hmm. have transport. I said, on my own principle, I will not still give. Mm -hmm. But if you have to, my suggestion is, if you give one transport fare, don't make it a habit. Mm -hmm. Because you, again, you encourage bad habits. Mm -hmm. And... When you do, when you stand firm in that decision because you are committed to it, because it'd be better for them back home, it will be, be good, good for you. you. It will be good for you. Then you are not just a benefactor when you become an, an investor. investor. Like it will be said. Yes. So, following up as early as the next day, we were on other people's YouTube channel. Some of our common sense squad people, because people who are subscribed to our channel and engaged, we call them common sense squad. They were saying, or more, they tried this thing and it's working. And it's working. They also said some people gave testimony that their uncle that has buildings told his tenants that if you show your PVC, 
discount. you will get discount. Mm -hmm. So people started using what they have their consciousness to encourage. Hey, we don't already call family members. We've called our principals from secondary school. We called my parents. Back. Called our parents. Asked them not to. We were as we were about to tell them about Peter Obi. They were the ones people telling us. And I asked them how many people have you encouraged? Mm -hmm. Each one gave us numbers. Mm -hmm. So we cannot underestimate the power of the voice. Mm -hmm. And you cannot allow doubt shrink your IQ mm -hmm. or your, you to see or hope create, or create doubt of you. I have my voice and I have my power. Mm -hmm. Obviously, if I'm in Nigeria, why I know why 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 on earth? Why would, my parents they confess to it, they say they know say if we did Nigeria, there's no be no our left for there's house. No reason. And what am I living for? If you think so, so it's like and this movement is people just look at it for now. Mm -hmm. Nobody is thinking of five generations, ten generations. Nigeria is at the at the it's on the cliff. We're about to die. If you're about to die, if you've ever been at the hospital, you see somebody that's about life to die. Supports. And you see oxygen and life supports. You say no, make you push out. You say you go sit tight to the bricks. Yeah, now, the bricks. It's not a, it's not about me. Yeah. It's not about yo-yo. It's not about any of us here on this time. No. It's about a whole country, a Nigeria. whole generation. As a Nigerian, can you pick up your passport today and fly back to your country and say you are going to your village, your interior gone, gone, gone village. Mm -hmm. You are going on a road trip mm -hmm. there. Without without any this thing, without any fear in your heart or nothing. We have we have family members that have died, that have been kidnapped. So this movement is very personal to us. So whether I am in Mars, which is another planet, on the day of election or not, there is no reason as to why, if one cannot go home to go and vote, why you should not use the power of your you voice have, to of encourage your voice people and your forex to encourage people to go and vote. So in line, in line with the line of thought, mm -hmm. so you people are also... Are you also advocating for wives and girlfriends to also use what they have to ensure that their boyfriends and husbands also uh, get their PVC and vote right as well? We know they give relationship advice. That one is their business in relationship. But the only yes. thing we say, we said on our YouTube channel, the way we started hey, this would be movement for ourselves. Hmm. We started it on how it has been affecting the smallest unit of family. society. Mm -hmm. if, including this boyfriend and girlfriend that, you're, that we're even now How people, to. man who marry woman, mm -hmm. And then realize that oh he has lost his job or she has lost her job. I have to go and look for greener pastures in another see, country. You see family separation, separated. marriage, suffering, children suffering, or long relationships in the terms of boyfriend and girlfriend. The only thing when we talk we say now relationship now marriage won't be obedient uh -huh. marriage. Mango, mango sweet. Any person who want to take advice from there, mm -hmm. that is it. And we have been seeing the rallies on, uh, of people saying that uh, if, if you their take boyfriend our... or whatever is not obedient or their girlfriend is not obedient, we saw nothing for you again. Right I mean, if you want to be in a relationship with somebody that is not obedient, that's your cross to carry. That, or somebody that doesn't have PVC, that's your cross and your generational cross to carry. As for me and my household, now will be we go. go. So, uh, hey, mm -hmm. I will mean, know that it's going to be so. People that mm -hmm. are in relationship, I know they give relationship mm -hmm. advice because they go use it to set to inside house. Yeah. So I know they give relationship <laughs> advice. But what I know is that any obedient relationship mm -hmm. we stand the test, the test of, time. of time, we'll be successful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Any obedient obedient relationship that in Nigeria that now have their PVC, now the obedient relationship, which means you have your PVC mm -hmm. and you are going to vote for Peter. Mm -hmm. Nine goals and the test of time. Mm -hmm. Any That's other one? That's thank, th thank you, ladies. Mm -hmm. I've, uh, I've really enjoyed um, the... I think you guys are borrowing the energy from Pitobi as well. Yeah. Um, I, like, <laughs> I like the energy. It's been, it's been nice speaking to you and nice coming up here. You know, I, I've, you know I, it's good I've, 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 that I came across uh, this. And uh, looking at your channel as well, it appears in the last two months, you know, you guys just post Peter B nonstop. We get mm -hmm. playlists. I say, we don't, I don't, we don't sleep. It's like, I'm sleeping at night. We have a responsibility. And I'm yeah. awake. I'm like, my president is working. Why am I sleeping? You know why we have that responsibility? <sighs> on my... People on our, on our community, our common sense squad said, common sense most of them are not on Twitter. We they fear this Twitter. How can we be getting this up? They will say, okay. On our shoulders shall we bring the research daily, daily to you. Boom, we will do, we will collect everything, everything together. make it together, and, and come and tell you. So every single day for the last two plus months is obedience.
and so Obedience. and it's going to continue it's going to continue so that's if, our responsibility you will, you will choke on peter b i mean what else am i here for? if peter b not happen to you then Niger it's one of two there are two things two, there are two things either involved. nigeria happened to you or mm. peter b happened to mm. you if nigeria happened to you your suffering knows no bond the cup mm. the cup of suffering run it over if peter b happened to you ah. abundance you will move Joy. from consumption to production, to production. fruitfulness the land we your life we have I mean, value. The oil in our so, states. If it will not happen to you, you move from top to bottom. Uh, On uh, that uh, note, you go to the bottomless pits. You said top. There's no top. There's now. no top. You will go from pit. bottom oh. to the underworld. Even the pigs and the swines will not align with you. If it's the mud will be running away from you. Yeah. Now you know. There are little hmm. choices that oh. I see. It's either Peter will be happened to you or Nigeria happened to you. The current Nigeria. If Nigeria happened to you, mm. the cup of suffering run it over. Run it over. There's nothing like top to bottom because Nigeria is not the top. Nigeria, Nigeria yeah. is suffering from what they call repetitive post-traumatic stress disorder. Mm -hmm. So they're already at the bottom. All of us need to. Okay. So on that, uh, on that, uh, uh, on that uh, grammatic gymnastic I anchor and I say thank you all for being part of this. And it's been a pleasure watching yes. you. Thank you and have a blessed evening. So people, on that note, these... Uh, you know, you've been listening to the Common Sense Sisters. They've joined us and they talked about their experience as they met with uh, His Excellency Mr. Peter B as he uh, journeyed around the globe and came to their place of abode in Toronto, Canada. Obviously, um, this evening, um, you know, speaking from this side of the world, that's going to be very late. He is going to be speaking in um you know he's going to be speaking this evening as well so just stay tuned that eventually we will also be bringing this to you and i am mazes okay i say good night to all of us we will come back later and we'll keep doing justice to this again if you haven't subscribed to this platform please by all means do subscribe like and share if you haven't also subscribed to the Common Sense Sisters, if you just go to the YouTube and search Common Sense Sisters, three separate words, you will see their channel and help them to grow their channel. I am also now a subscriber to their channel. And on this, I say good night to all of us. They do argue that we are not going from top to bottom, that we already at the bottom, maybe going from bottom to the bottomless, but be that that is may, I say, nonetheless. Good night to you. <laughs>